Hey everybody, this is Kevin, and this is a tutorial about how to set up the 8-bit Doe controller for the Mac. Now, if you're looking for how to set it up on the PC, there will be another video. Um, keep in mind, this is specifically for the Mac. Now, I recommend purchasing this controller. I, I have this one. I use this one. I really like it because it fits in the palm of your hand. I know some people like this controller, too. It's a little bit larger. Um, you can't really fit it in one hand. Uh, unless you have really big hands, and um, but it's it's bulkier and some people like that more. So you you can just pick one. Um, both of them will work for our purposes. So just order one, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you want to find uh, download this app called Caravaner Elements. So it's very easy to find. You can just Google this term, and it's the first thing that comes up, and download it, and uh, make sure that your Mac is is up to date. After you download it, you want to connect your controller. So I'm going to connect my controller now. Um, but when you turn your controller on for the first time, what I what you want to do is you want to press start, which is this circle right here on the right, and A here at the same time. And what, what's going to happen is you're going to see this light start blinking. And you want to make sure your Bluetooth is on so that it'll connect, all right? And it'll look like this. And the reason why there's a keyboard key here is because um, the controller actually has a, a several different modes that it can be turned on with. Um, by pressing start in A, you're setting it up as a Mac keyboard, okay? So you're, that's why there's a keyboard icon here, okay? And then what we're gonna wanna do is, um, now that we've set this up as a Mac keyboard, we want to remap the keys on this controller to the keys that we want. So I, I made this chart here, and what this chart shows is on this column, it's the physical keys on the controller. So up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, and then Y, A, X, B, Y, A, X, B. Start and select, start and select, and L and R. And for the first time, if you've never done anything with this controller, all the controllers are going to be um, physically, or are going to be automatically mapped to certain keys. So if you have a physical key, right, this B, without doing anything, when you press it, it's going to type H and R. It's going to go like this. And the good thing is that none of these overlap with each other. So the goal is to take the first letter here, assign it to what we want, and then disable the second letter. Okay? And the way we're going to do that is with Kravener. Let me open up Kravener. Okay? And you're going to see this first. Kravener Elements Preferences, you're going to see this first. Um, and you want to select your target device. So you have to make sure your um, your controller is connected properly. And then when you connect it, it'll show up as 8 0 gamepad. So I know this looks a little bit overwhelming, but it's, it's not that bad. And once you set it up once, you don't have to set it up again. So let's uh, just go through what, it, what, what you have to do. So basically this column is the keys um, the from key, right, from this column, okay? And I'm remapping those keys to what I want, right? So that when I press B, when I press B here, okay, it's going to type an H and then an R, and I want to make it so that when it types an H and an R, it makes the H a space bar, and the R it disables, right? So the way you're going to do that is you're going to add an item. Oops. Yeah, you add an item here, and you select the H here. And then you go here, and then you select the space bar. So as you, as you can see, it's pretty versatile here. Um, you can remap a lot of these keys to a lot of different things. Um, another thing, the next thing you should do is you add the second letter, the R, here, and then you want to disable it with uh, VK none. So 
yeah, there's a lot of different things you can make a key do. And you can play around with it if you want. Um, and when you set it once, you don't have to set it again. And that's that's a nice thing about this app. So um, if you don't want to think about it, you can just copy what I did here. I did a little bit of extra things, like have, I have a page up and page down button. Um, I also have a period and comma button that I use with my Zoom add-on. Um, it allows it so that I can stand really far away from my monitor and uh, I can zoom in on my cards and uh, see the cards very clearly. But that that's, um, I think I'll stop right here. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I hope this was helpful and uh, good luck.